The air in Kenya's capital, Nairobi, is polluted by emissions from cars, buses, and conventional fossil-fueled three-wheelers, commonly known as tuk-tuks. But one man in Kenya is seeking to have pollution cut significantly after starting to produce electric tuk-tuks and hand carts locally. Sijitians and Oksakolia met with the creator, Kenneth Guantai, to find out more. My name is Kenneth Guantai. I work with the National Youth Service at the end of research and innovation. Uh, the projects you see here started just as an idea on how to revolutionize uh, the conventional fossil fuel three wheelers we have in Kenya and across Africa. Uh, we realized that uh, there is a lot of problems that is encountered by the users of the conventional fossil fuel uh, tuk-tuk in that it uses um, fossil fuel, which is very expensive for them. Secondly, the tuk-tuk that we have in our market pollute the environment through carbon emissions. Third, uh, the tuk-tuk we have have a raw loading capacity. They call it uh, drip passengers. Now, the solution we have is an electric uh, uh, tuk-tuk. The benefits are our tuk-tuk has more rounding capacity than the conventional fossil fuel tuk-tuk in that it carries six passengers. The other thing is that uh, it has a rounding capacity of 1.5 ton, meaning it is more powerful than the conventional tuk-tuk. The third thing is that it does not pollute the environment because it is purely electric. And uh, on top of that, we went ahead to invent a system that will enable our tuk-tuk to self-recharge while in motion. You look at the conventional manual handicap we have in our town today and cities today, you realize that uh, they are all associated with masculinity. It means if you don't have enough strength, you cannot be able to push or pull them. But now, the electric handcart we have is more powerful because you don't need to push or pull. All what you need to do is drive as you walk. 